Hi, I'm Kathy at Absolutely Fabulous Bed Bath & Home and today we're going to talk about baking bread. Why would you talk about baking bread in front of ceramic or stoneware? Because this is a special bowl. This is made out of clay. This bowl needs to be seasoned. It takes, it takes a little bit of doing to season it. But one of the advantages of working with clay or stoneware in terms of baking is that it wicks the moisture from the dough just a little bit, just enough to give you a crusty edge to your bread. So in this particular bowl, call a bit called a banneton bowl, you would actually proof your bread. You would make your dough, you would let it rise in the bowl the first time, punch it down, put it into here, and when you were ready to bake it, you would flip it out, and you can just see here, you'd get a beautiful pattern on your bread, which is how the artisan breads are made. But you also get a lovely crust. It will be light, it will be flaky, but it will have a little crispness. Now that crispness is important because the rest of the bread dough is going to be nice and chewy. It's not going to dry out. You can go one step further. This is a new set we have called the bread baking set. You get a, bra a baking stone and the bowl. You can actually proof your bread in the bowl flip it out and bake it on the stone. The stone is very similar to the baking stones that we're familiar with now for using uh, in your oven for pizzas or again breads. This stone starts out a nice off-white color. The more you use it, the darker it will get because it becomes more seasoned. It'll end up being almost black. Never clean it, never wash it, just scrape off any loose bits, uh, give it a brush down and, and let it dry and put it away, but the blacker it gets and the, and the shinier it gets, the better it is for baking. It does the same thing. When you put a pizza crust on here, a little bit of the moisture that's in the dough is absorbed by the stone and your crust comes out that light but still chewy because the, the crust is crispy. Well, those are the things we wanted to talk about today in terms of baking bread. When you buy anything from us that has a stone attached to it or is a bread baking stone or one of these bowls, we actually give you a little care sheet too because there are a few things to know about stones. You cannot put a frozen pizza on a hot stone. It'll crack it. You always have to start those two things at the same temperature. So you never put something cold onto something hot. It's, it's just not going to work. Uh, you start at room temperature. So we have a few little hints here. You can't, you can't put them under the broiler. There's just a few little things to make your, your enjoyment of your stone a lot more pleasant and you'll have it longer. So thank you.